At noon, on her 3,000 mile journey across America, a bicyclist is passing through Pittsburgh today. Our Megan Shin met up with her in Lawrenceville to learn more about her mentality and this physically exhausting journey. Debbie Curtis is using this bike to pedal across the country. It's a 48 day journey in honor of her late son, Brock Wesley Curtis. Through the hills of Pittsburgh, Debbie Curtis bikes with a mission. I tell you, the hills in Pennsylvania are a little, a little intimidating, uh, but uh, I'm making it through. Since March 9th, she's made it over 2,300 miles pedaling from San Diego to New York City. The whole time, she's honoring the life and legacy of her son, Brock. Anybody would describe him as the typical all-American boy. He uh, is a very good athlete, six foot three, handsome young man. Brock was a world traveler, athlete, an outdoorsy guy, one of four kids. But behind the smiling pictures, he battled with bipolar disorder. From high school to when you really get established, it's a stressful time. And then you throw an illness on top of it, and an unseen illness, um, it's too much for some people. At 24 years young, he lost his battle to mental illness in 2021. So Curtis focused on helping others struggling with their mental health through her nonprofit for Team Brock and raising awareness with this cross country bike ride. He was always about helping others. Um, so I think this journey would make him proud and I know He's, I know he's riding with me. Curtis wants to raise at least $25,000. 100% of the donations goes towards the programming to help others. Suicide's such a horrible problem uh, across the country. And I thought, you know, if, if I take this journey as a 62-year-old woman riding by herself across the country, maybe it could draw a little bit of attention. This former New York teacher just bought the bike eight months ago. But from the Pacific to the Atlantic, she's breaking the stigma surrounding mental health one state at a time. Health is health and sometimes people just need to be listened to and um, and supported. Curtis is expected to arrive in New York City on April 24th. To follow her journey, we have a link in this story at KDKA.com. In Lawrenceville, Megan Shin, KDKA TV News. If you or someone you know is struggling, consider calling or texting the number 988. That's the Suicide Prevention and Crisis Support Hotline, which offers around the clock free and confidential support for anyone who may be struggling with their mental health.